a typical day for me starts at 5.30 in the morning. Um, I wake up and I get on my phone um, and check email. And really this is a time for me to understand what has happened um, over the past eight hours that I've been asleep. And this is important because Toyota Research Institute is a global company. And we have partners in Japan that are working hard and things are happening and shifting um, when I'm asleep. And often than not, I'll connect with my partner who's another executive assistant that supports Gil. And we will chat about the things that have happened overnight. Um, so we will start by prioritizing and really gaining an understanding of what has happened, reading emails in depth, following up. Um, sometimes the schedule will have changed or there's necessary for us to make adjustments to his day or his week. That is the first line of defense in uh, main, making sure that the day runs smoothly. I have a one-year-old son, so you know I'll give him a bottle and we'll put him back to bed with his dad. And then I'll get ready for work and head in. Um, it's great at Toyota Research Institute or really depending on the relationship as an executive assistant, there is a great level of flexibility so that you need to be able to balance work and life. So depending on how the day is going or what my work level is like, oftentimes I'll decide, you know, I'll go into work early or it's better for me. It's a better utilization of my time to skip the traffic hours and work from home early. So it really depends. Um, but on a typical day, I'll come into the office um, as early as possible. And then um, as soon as I settle in, I'll get some coffee, you know, um, I'll be greeted by our, our um, reception team. They're really great. And then, you know, as I walk up the stairs to the office, you know, you'll run into very interesting things. We are a research and development um, company. There are, you know, often than not, you'll see a robot running around. Uh, we have a security robot that kind of scans uh, the office. I might go into the kitchen to grab my tea. And then there might be this robot arm reaching into the fridge to get a glass of water or putting stuff, taking something out of the dishwasher and putting it away. So you have to watch out for these things that might be happening. It's fun and it's engaging. Um, and it's kind of a little bit out of the ordinary from, from most companies, but um, it's kind of like being in a sci-fi film. Um, or like the Jetsons, but you know, it's a good reminder of the, the technical work that is being um, done here at TRI. Um, so I'll go back to my desk and I'll start opening up my emails and my calendars. Um, I'm typically in meetings quite, I would say like 80% of my day. And these meetings are planning sessions for VIPs that might be coming. So I would manage um, part of the role that I do here specifically is to manage VIP uh, visitors. These can be dignitaries. For example, today we had a planning session for congressional um, guests that are coming from the U.S. Congress, and we would go through details like, uh, what is their security? Are they arriving with security? Um, who's coming? What does the meetings look like? Uh, what are the the logistics or um, the day to day or the things that need to happen to enable a smooth experience? Things from parking, to food, to making sure that the confidential, really secret stuff are well hidden, or that the things that we're showing them are of our interest. So really project managing and programming and really figuring out how to support the storytelling of the visit. Um, so that would be one type of meeting. Another type of meeting that I would go into are uh, debriefing sessions. Um, my executive spends increasing time in Japan as we gear up for the 2020 Olympics. In those meetings, uh, what I do is to manage Gil's or my executive's time in another country. We have a team in Japan that we work with internationally um, and a team here of liaisons that help inform the meetings. Um, so when you plan a meeting for an executive internationally, there's many components um, certainly logistics and travel, making sure that the flights and the cars and all of those things are in consideration, uh, making sure that people and all the meetings that he wants are um, scheduled properly. But the key thing is managing relationships. And the key thing is making sure that the meetings are happening in the right cadence or the right order and that Gil is prepared for the for his, his talk. So what happens in these meetings is that once Gil comes back, he will share with us the things that have been discussed. And we will create a briefing for each meeting. And there could have been 50 meetings in a trip. And what the briefing and preparing a briefing document. And then based on what comes out of that meeting, 
finding out what they talked about, then we develop next steps. So it's a continuous process. Um, so that's one type of meeting that we have. Um, and, you know, I will come back and then, you know, most you usually have lunch with my colleagues, um, maybe go for a quick walk to get some fresh air. And then the afternoon is spent um, working at my desk or working on projects that I'm, I'm, I'm in charge of. Um, another project might be an all-hands meeting where we have offices in three different cities, um, Ann Arbor, uh, Cambridge, and Palo Alto, Los Altos, actually. Um, and in these all-hands meetings, we connect all three sites at the same time. And we have presentations to share updates or news that are important to the company and really to build upon the culture. So programming that, making sure all of the audio visuals are right, making sure all the details are set and that the presenters are aware and um, prepared. So a lot of work that goes on in the background. A lot of planning meetings, a lot of collaboration with different teams. It could be the op services team, the IT team. Um, public relations teams, all of these are different parts of the organization of our company that work on their specific goals. So as an executive assistant, it's great because you have visibility and partnership with everybody across the organization. I go home, um, spend time with family, check some email, and usually try to go to bed after a quick workout.